Hello and welcome to my video lessons. My name is Eitner Mert and uh, in this video I'm, I'm especially excited about the release of my newest book, my fifth book, uh, Learn Drumming Without Notation. And um, what, what's especially exciting about this book is that uh, it's going to be for free. You can download it for free off my, my website uh, www.drumgate.com and um, yeah, how exciting is that? It's a great drum book and you can get it for free. Now, um, uh, to learn more details about why I wrote the book and why I decided to release it for free, uh, just download it and read the, the preface and the intro in the book and then you'll know. So let's get straight into the lessons. Uh, so this is the int introduction to the book. Um, so we're going to talk about the, the pure basics of how the book works and uh, I'm going to produce way more videos. I'm also going to uh, produce videos on demand if you want to. If you have a special page in, you, in the book you don't understand, just email me or message me through social media, Facebook, Instagram um, and uh, contact me and, and, and I'll tape a quick video with any of the exercises you, you don't understand or you need some, some help with. So learn drumming without notation. So I'm, I'm quite excited about that. Uh, not everybody can read notation. Uh, some people have a hard time with it. Some people don't want to read. I'm, 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 I'm a pretty good reader. I love reading. But I do understand that, not, that it's not for everybody. Um, so let, let's get into the, the basic of this book. So on page 10, I've made a couple of notes here. On page 10, this is the, the first um, page with exercises. Um, exercise number one. So that's the, the pure um, basic of the book. Uh, the, the black notes, right hand, uh, the hollow notes, left hand. So in ex example number one, we have only the right hand playing. Um, so this rhythm is in four. So you'll uh, count, or it's, it would be good if you count until four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep repeating. And uh, play with the right hand on whatever you have available. It could be a pillow, a practice pad, or a full drum kit, or a hand drum. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's all about learning learning uh, these rhythms. So, so this is how you play it. One, two, three, four. So the distance between all of these hits has to be exactly the same. From one to the next hit, exactly the same distance. Also, when you when you loop it from the from the four back to the one, same distance. That's very important. Uh, it has to be a steady beat. So let's get into exercise number two, which feature, features one left hand, which is um, played right after the fourth uh, hit with the right hand, and this is um, the placement is called the four and. So it goes one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one. Let's play it. And again, you can play this anywhere you want. Now, when you're sitting behind the drum kit, uh, it's a good start to, to, to start on, on, on the snare drum maybe. Um, but then as, as soon as you can play the rhythm, Try to be creative, right? That, that's also a big thing about the book and something I want to th show through the, the videos I'm going to produce is how to use these rhythms and how to, to uh, create something cool on the, on the drum kit. So this is a pretty simple rhythm. So four with the right hand, one with the left. So how about we play with the right hand on the hi-hat, left hand on the snare drum like this. Now, this book starts with hands only. Later in the book, in other chapters, you're going to see um, our feet are also in, introduced. Uh, but if you want to, you can, you can already uh, place uh, uh, a bass drum note 
Anyway, let, let's let's play a bass drum now on the together with the first right hand. It sounds like this. Let's add another bass drum on the second beat as well. All right. Um, so, like I said, uh, other chapters back in the book they 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 come with a lot of bass drum variations. Um, so. This was one way of playing it. Um, you could also play play that rhythm on the on the toms like this: right hand floor tom, left hand uh, first rack tom. Right. So, if you want to be creative, you can you can change things up a little bit. Play the play play it once like this. Second time through, play the left hand on the uh, snare drum. Now I'm going to bring back the bass drum. Let's put the snares back on. I'm going to play it a bit faster. Right, you, you get the idea. So start with what, what you see in the book and, and then create something. Um, let's check out um, example three, which has two left hands. Goes like this. Yeah, right, 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 left, right, left, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, Three and four and. Example four has just one left on the one and. One and two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Um, let's have a look at example number five. Uh, left hand comes in on one and and two and. One and two and three, four. And a quick look at uh, number six as well. So left hand plays on one and and on three and. So one and two, three and four, one and three and four. All right, so I hope this gives you a good idea of what you can do with the book, how, how the book works. Now, um, check out the other pages in the book and, and work your way through. And uh, it, uh, I promise you that there's, there's some really cool stuff in there. It starts as really basic, um, but that, that's important because I wanted to, uh, beginner drummers to, to understand and, and work with the book on, on their own. 
um, but it, it, gets, uh, it gets way more interesting pretty quick. And there's, there's a lot of odd times in the book, which is also uh, interesting for every drummer. Um, but um, so the, the book is basically not only for beginners, especially because of the odd times in there. I, th I think it's also very interesting for in the intermediate players or can also be a great resource for advanced players. So yeah, d uh, d download the book if you haven't already. Um, share it with your friends. Uh, feel free to use it uh, by yourself uh, or also if, if you happen to be a drum teacher, feel free to use it in your, in your drum lessons. Um, I'm, I'm happy I can share these ideas with you. And uh, like I said, I'm going to produce more videos soon. So see you.